Hello and welcome to today's episode of Junk Journal with me. We're going to be working on several pages um, in this episode. And we're starting off by um, gluing two of the middle pages of one of the signatures together. And I'm going to be following a tutorial by... Um, I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly. I think it's G Kerr or G Kerr. I'm guessing it's G Kerr. And she has, and of course I will link this below, she has a tutorial for belly band bookmarks. So um, it's an awesome tutorial. Please go check her out. I'm trying this for the first time and I think it's such a cool idea. So what it is, is like a belly band that goes, that you slide over the entire page. Um, which also serves as a bookmark um, and I really love the idea that you can you have a belly band that slides in and out so you can move it to whichever page you want to as long as the length of the page is not is, is kind of the same length um, as the belly band so I've just taken out two book pages out of a vintage book and I've folded them or I've cut them first down then I folded them in half and inked them so now you see kind of what I mean by putting it over the page so then I took it to my sewing machine and I sewed it on both ends you can also glue it you don't have to sew it and um, I found the trickiest part of this whole thing is getting the size right because you don't want it too loose but you also don't want it too snug so that it's too hard to get on the page. So the important thing is to know on which page you're going to put it, unless all your pages in your journals are the same size. But in these junk journals, they usually aren't. So you have to pick your page first and then make the, the um, belly band a little bit um, longer. So now I'm going to make this um, cute little Easter collage um, with some pieces of tablecloths mostly so I have these left over from the secondhand store um, and and the two white pieces underneath are just um, two strips from another tablecloth and now I'm adding just some some pink florals and this piece right here is one from a girl's dress from a flea market that I had gotten a long time ago. So yeah, I'm back to my pink and white. <laughs> I just can't get away from it. It just makes me so happy. And this pop of yellow for, for Easter is just fabulous, I think. So yeah, now I'm just going to glue everything down with my tacky glue. And then I will look at the back side, see what I can do there. So that's the front side. I'm very happy with that. Now for the back side, I'm also using some Easter images. So these are some Easter eggs in a tree. Also from the same tablecloth that I found at the secondhand store. And I'm again going to add um, a strip of white tablecloth underneath and I tried tearing it but the strip was too thin that I wanted to take off so then I just decided to take my pinking shears and um, do that that was easier and again trying to find some fabrics for underneath that would just add more interest make it more fun and I stuck to three pieces on this one Ok, 
Okay, so that's it for the back side. And now when I'm trying it on again, I do think that it's a bit too loose. So I decide to run it through my sewing machine once again, the bottom side, and to just um, make it a little smaller by just moving up the sewing line and cutting off the previous one. And now I'm just going to try it again. And now it's perfect. So now of course I wanted something to put in that belly band, at least on the one side. And I decide to go for this um, cute postcard from the from a secondhand store that um, reminds me of my childhood because I grew up with those characters. And whoever wrote that postcard um, drew this little dachshund <laughs> on the bottom, which is so cute. So for the second page, I'm following a, another tutorial from... Um, a YouTuber that I just recently found through Gail Augustinelli and her name is Patricia Vera Montes. I'm sure a lot of you know her. And I'm again starting with a book page and I'm going to also fold it in half and glue it just like the others. But this time I'm going to fold it um, in a way that I could make an embellishment out of it and I just love this so much and I think I need to make a whole bunch of these because they're just so much fun and quick and easy to make. So you fold it like that and then you either glue it or you run it through your sewing machine. I I, I sewed it and now you, you, you just make a collage on top and so I'm using this uh, beautiful lace I had from Amy from the Happy Mail and I know it, it covers most of the stitching which is a shame but um, I will be adding some more stitching on the top and you kind of still can see it through. Now I'm just going through my box of small embellishments and I'm going to choose a few. So I really like this girl and I wanted to use one of these beautiful tickets. These are both Happy Mail items. and. I also want to use this tiny tag. I found these recently. These were in one of the boxes from the little stamp store subscription box that I used to have. So I wanted to add that one as well. And it's really so quick and easy. And it's a really fun surface to work on by, by gluing down a book page in that specific way. Patricia seems to have quite a few awesome tutorials on her channel, so obviously I will link that down below as well, so you should check her out too. And now since this little tag had some, some twine attached to it already, I thought why not add a charm to that. <clears throat> So, oh yeah, so here I sewed over everything. You could just glue it down and leave it at that, but I thought why not just sew it with a zigzag um, stitch. So this is my little box of metal embellishments or charms. And I then pick out one of these adorable fairy charms, which I will also link below. They are from AliExpress. So it's so cute. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tie her on there with a double knot. And I just love that look. And just cut down the string or the twine a little bit. And there's the finished embellishment. I think it's so cute and it's so versatile. Now you could either attach it to a page with a paper clip. Or as I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. And in my next episode, I'm, also, I'm actually going to be adding some more elements to that page from another Happy Mail. I am so, so spoiled with Happy Mails. It is unbelievable. Okay, so that's that embellishment. So moving on to another page. Now I have this beautiful um, curtain fabric. That I also found at a secondhand store, the same one where I found those tablecloths with the cute Easter motifs. And I wanted to do a flip up. 
And I wanted to use in particular this beautiful image here of the roses. So I'm just measuring with my neon color pencil the dimension it needs to have and I'm just going to um, mark those lines and then tear, tear the sides. It's the easiest way to get it straight. Straightening that um, edge on the bottom as well. Okay, and now I wanted to just sew down that top edge to make that edge a bit nicer. You could also just glue that down or not do anything. So I'm just going to run that through my sewing machine. There it is. And you're actually not going to see that black sewing at the end. Now I'm just gluing it down on the page because I'm going to put something over that. And I would have actually done it in white if I wasn't too lazy to change the thread on my sewing machine. I believe there are some that have um, multiple colors of threads inside and you can just switch, but I think those are way more expensive and probably bigger as well. So I just have a very simple sewing machine that doesn't even have a lot of stitch variations. So I decided to go with this bird illustration for underneath the um, flip up and I believe this was also from a Happy Mail quite a long time ago and after inking the edges I decided to add a little quote up there because I'm trying to embrace my handwriting more like Shua um, says in her um, videos and I will link though her channel again below because she has fabulous ideas for junk journals and for making your own ephemera but the quote I put on there is from William Shakespeare and it says one touch of nature makes the whole world kin and I really like that so as a final touch I'm going to be adding this beautiful lace from Amy I'm just gonna glue that down over that black thread just to add a little more something and that's the end of that spread. So that's it. Three more ideas. Hope this was helpful. Hope you are enjoying your own processes and your own journals. And hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.